Hey guys, thanks for watching. Today I am doing wax melts for the entire month of May. I did the entire month of April. I'm going to do the entire month of May. I did not melt a ton in the first half of May enough to do a video, just like same scenario as uh, April. And then just this whole last week of May, I was sick and so I wasn't really melting because there's no point in melting when you can't smell anything um, and even some peppermint scents just didn't really do the trick so um yes anyway I will share with you what I went through um I'll start with what I used up I'm not gonna ramble on anymore let's just get into it um I did try and use up fresh scents so I tried to go with fresh scents for May um, and, and then also use up some super tarts clamshells that I had like partially used. And so, um, for June, I'm going to continue on with some fresh scents that I have and, um, like fresh scents I'd like to use up or try and make sure that they still have a good throw. And if they don't, I will try and use them up. If they do have a good throw, I'll hang on to them. Um, and then I want to use obviously more fruity scents of mine. So where to begin? <clears throat> I feel like I almost have too much to talk about now. I didn't have enough before. Now I have too much to talk about. Okay. Let's start out with little bags. I can't remember. I think this was supposed to go in my box and I didn't talk about it last time. I did finish this mint mojito, um, bag. There was maybe one shape grubby shape thing left. Uh, I didn't like this originally when I melted it like a year or two ago. And then most recently I did melt it and I actually really liked it. I just realized I'm going to need to adjust this at some point, uh, and bring the camera back. Maybe I'll do that right, right now. Okay. So <clears throat> anyway, I finished this and it had a pretty good throw. I melted it in my bathroom. Um, nice, fresh, kind of clean minty scent for the bathroom. I really liked it. I love the smell of mojitos. I love mojitos. I like plain mojitos. I like fruity added mojitos. Yum. They're very good. That's probably one of the like more tropical uh, type drinks that I, I do like. Well, I like a lot of them. Blue Hawaiians are really good. Miami Vices are good. Okay, let's not talk about that. See, I'm already getting distracted. I am uh, sick still, by the way. I know I sound congested. I can, I can breathe through my nose. I just am still sounding congested. So, um... Yes, I did melt this front porch peppermint sinus relief. This was just a single grubby. I believe I got it in like a random act of kindness or somehow in like a D stash or something. I didn't purchase it myself. That's why it has that little label on it. Um, it wasn't super strong, honestly, when I melted it. I was hoping it was going to be super strong and sinus clearing and it just wasn't. But I was just so sick. It just wasn't. <laughs> it's not like aromatherapy oils, you know, or essential oils where it possibly could really, you know, I guess clear my sinuses. Um, but I say that and then I've melted Rose Girls Peppermint and that has actually cleared my sinuses. So I know it's possible. Um, Rose Girls Peppermint sounds really awesome right now, by the way, but this didn't clear my sinuses. But when, when they were getting a little bit better, I had it going for like two days in a row. The first day I couldn't smell it. The second day after I used like Afro nasal spray or something, I could tell that it was scenting the room when I could finally like breathe through my nose temporarily. Um, it was like a bedroom filler, but nothing that's like blow you away super strong. Um, and it was just kind of that like Vicks type eucalyptus, spearmint, peppermint, menthol, um, blend type blend. Uh, but it wasn't like blow you away strong. So I don't think that I would purchase that again. I don't know. You know, I used to really like front porch, there's an undertone in the wax, and I don't agree with some of the stuff the owner, like the stances that the owner takes on certain subjects, but that's for a different conversation, a different day, or just never, how about never? Um, <clears throat> but I did appreciate the like variety of scents and how cheap they were. Uh, so Front Porch is a great vendor, I guess, if you're just looking into like getting into vendor wax and you just want to try some cheap stuff that's like easy and ready to ship, I think. I don't really remember what their, their deal is. I think they used to be like a quick turnaround time. And then I think when I exited purchasing from Front Porch, it was more like three weeks. So 
hopefully that's shorter, but I don't know. Also, I'm sorry for this dark shadow. I think it's like my actual camera that's causing that shadow. So I, yeah, I don't have a lot of light right now. It's, it's, uh, in the evening. And so there's no like daylight. Okay. I have two scents from Epic Wax. This is cool citrus basil. I did write on some of these. I didn't write on some of the other ones. I like started out good and then I just fell off. So, um, cool citrus basil is a dupe for bath and a bath and body work scent. It's a scent I really like. This wasn't, it wasn't exact, but it's probably the closest thing I'll ever smell to cool citrus basil in wax form. I mean, it's pretty close. Um, I gave the scent a two to a three out of five, five being the strongest. Uh, that's how I rate things. And then the appeal, which is the A that you see there. And that was a three. I do like it. But I've decided that I like this scent better in body care than in home fragrance. But it was nice to try. Um, I don't know what the zero means. I think that means not a repurchase. <laughs> I think that's what I was go what I was going with. I melted that in my bathroom, by the way. And then there's coconut lime verbena, which is also a Bath and Body Works dupe, and that's why I got this one. Um, I could have read this scent description on there. That probably would have helped you. Cool citrus basil. I just feel like when I read scent descriptions, it's so long. This is. Um, Sweet basil, lime, wild mint, followed by uh, geranium, linden blossom, and cyclamen. It is a, it's not really herbal, so when you think basil, I wouldn't think of that. It's kind of like a clean, citrusy, springy, fresh, um, a slightly masculine uh, body care type scent. Like soapy a little bit, but I, I do really like it. I, I like that scent. Um, it's nostalgic. It just reminds me of like classic Bath and Body Works. So yeah, I do really enjoy that scent. Just not, I don't know if I'd get it again in home fragrance. It was stronger. I think, no, it wasn't stronger. This one was stronger. I believe coconut lime verbena. Okay. So this is our coconut lime verbena starts with lime, kumquat, grapefruit, and lemon finished with hints of jasmine, musk, and sandalwood. I just realized like when I'm trying to read that, that this is dark in here. Yeah, this one was stronger. This was stronger, but I didn't like it as much. Um, oh, no, I I wrote that I did like it. Well, it was pretty much the same. The strength was a 3. Instead of a 2 to a 3, this one was a 3. But I do remember one feeling significantly stronger than the other. Here's, here's why. This one had a really far throw. Um, it wasn't like headache-inducing strong, but it threw outside the bathroom into the living room, like down the hall, you know, that type of thing. Um, and then I obviously wrote that I, a three to a four. I don't remember liking this one as much. I like both of those scents. They're in body care. Again, I, that's why I purchased them in wax was to try them in wax, but I don't know that I would want to get either one of those again, I guess. Maybe I would try them from a different vendor and see if they're a different oil or if they smell the same or that type of thing. And then I have Rose Girls Olive. This was a mini melter bag. It is from uh, July 2017, but honestly, this was like so scentless. I used these up. I was putting like five mini melters in there toward the end. It was so, so light. Now this is kind of like a clean, soothing, relaxing spa scent. To me, it smells like a very, very light pear. A very light pear scent. Um, that's I. There has to be pear in this. There just there has to be. I. I would be shocked if there wasn't. So that's it for bags. Not a repurchase for me. Um, that one. But I know that a lot of people really like that scent. Okay, and then not to blind you, but I do have this Goose Creek. Uh, I guess you would call it a clamshell. This is warm and welcome, and this is a. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Look at the kitty cat. Um, this is a. Beach Nights from Bath and Body Works dupe. It smells just like Beach Nights. I really like it. It has a great thrill. It's not headache inducing strong. I mean, you could melt it in a bedroom and it, you would smell it and it would smell great. It wouldn't be overpowering, but it had a really far throw too. It threw far. It didn't just linger in one room. It threw far. I highly recommend that scent. If you're going to place an order with Goose Creek, try that scent. Um, if you like I don't even know how to explain it, but like a clean, summery, creamy, marshmallowy scent. It just smells awesome. It's it's a great scent. I really like it, and it's nice to know that like a retail, 
I almost said vendor, retail company has a Beach Nights dupe, I guess, because that's the closest thing I've ever smelled to Beach Nights in wax form, um, other than Sassy Girl Aroma, who I believe, like, had that scent specially made for her by, like, a chemist or whatever, whoever would make home fragrance chemists, probably. I think you can send in a product or perfume or something, and they will create that scent, uh, like a master chemist formulator, whatever you would call it, and they will find a way to mix different things to dupe that scent. I don't know much about that, but I think that's how it goes. Okay, let's talk about some super charts, because I have quite a few, well, not quite a few, but I have a few I got, got through. I finished um, Immortal Child. This is lavender cream, pink sugar, and strawberry cake. It's basically go to sleep and uh, happy birthday, which is like a birthday cake type set. I do like this, but it's not my favorite. I actually like go to sleep and um, happy birthday separately. And yeah, I, I like happy birthday more than I like Immortal Child. And I like go to sleep more than I like Immortal Child. So I don't think I'm going to repurchase this. And there's something about this. Honestly, that smells more, it smells more like herbal lavender to me than her lavender cream in Go to Sleep. And that's weird to me. Um, because I don't know how that would be. But to me, this doesn't smell like Go to Sleep's lavender and pink sugar. It smells like herbal lavender, pink sugar, and strawberry birthday cake. I can't shake that feeling, but I'm probably wrong, but that's what I think. Anyway, it's a really strong scent. People love it or they hate it. I like it. I'm pretty sure I have some more clamshells of it in that drawer. <clears throat> Hopefully not a ton. I should probably de-stash them to someone who would enjoy them more uh, because I could probably just mix them on my own together and maybe like it better since I tend to smell that herbal lavender in it. I, I don't know. I'm crazy. Tell me I'm, I don't know. Tell me your opinion. I was going to say, tell me I'm crazy, but tell me your opinion on a mortal child. I'm curious. Okay. And then we've got, um, Gollum, which is the omen blended with blackberries. I don't like the omen on its own. The omen is like ocean breeze and red delicious apple and something else and I don't really care for that one on its own but I do like it with the blackberry I think it needs to be I think the red delicious apple sweetens it up but I don't think it sweetens it up enough for me I like that blackberry her blackberry is awesome I really like that blackberry it's more fruity and fresh it's a great scent I love that one I highly recommend that I, I recommend both of those scents actually I just don't know if Immortal Child is like my favorite. And I have a big pan of Go to Sleep. And again, I prefer Happy Birthday on its own because I just think it's like a simple scent that just smells really good on its own. So I don't know that I need to blend the two to enjoy something even more, you know, like to make a better scent. I think they're perfect how they are. That's just me though. I did used to really like that like the first couple times I melted it. But now I feel like I have these clamshells that have something I probably should just de stash. All right, and then we've got Toodles, which is, um, I'm trying to make my camera focus, Iced Lemonade, Sweet Lollipops, and Gain. So I think I only had one or two cubes of this left. This is so strong. Um, you get that tart, sweetened, tart, sweet tart lemonade scent. I really don't smell lemonade. I smell like tart lemon, just tart, sour, squeezed lemon, um, maybe with a lollipop sweetness. Um, and then gain laundry, which I'm not, uh, like super familiar with. I don't know why this isn't focusing. It's supposed to be on autofocus, but it's being weird. Come on. Um, anyway, that one's like blow you away strong. I I can't remember if I melted it with something else, but honestly, I would be shocked if I didn't melt it with something else because it's so strong on its own. Unless I melted it in my kitchen. I just, I, maybe I did. 
Maybe that's where I put it. I can't remember. Okay, I finished Tate, which I've talked about a lot in the past. One of my favorite scents, Sweater Weather, Cotton Candy, and Blackberry. I like to melt this um, occasionally so that I don't get sick of it uh, because I do have like three band bags of this and probably a couple clamshells maybe. Um, but any clamshells that I have, I am trying to finish to rid myself of extra small things since I do have band bags. I know that I don't need to hang on to like smaller ones, even though like in my mind I tend to think that clamshells are stronger than band bag pieces, but maybe that's because like a clamshell piece is maybe twice the size of BAM pieces. I don't know. Anyway, that one has a great throw. Honestly, Super Tarts have, they all have a great throw, so I'm going to stop saying that unless, um, one, two, three, nope, everything else I'm going to talk about from Super Tarts has a good throw, so I'll stop talking about throw. Lavender Orange Dream, which is sweet lavender and orange sherbet. This is mostly orange sherbet. It's probably like 70, 30, maybe even 80, 20. No, I can smell her lavender in that. Um, I can smell the lavender. I really like this. Um, I have to take it in small doses because it's super strong and intense. And I think I, I think I tend to like creamy orange. I know some people it makes their stomach turn. I like creamy orange scents more than like intense in your face orange scents. Um, and this one can be a stronger intense orange scent. Um, but I do enjoy that one. I do like it. It's more of like a wake you up scent than a, like a relaxing scent to me. Um, because it's so strong. It's almost like clean and fresh and invigorating and something to melt in the morning than the evening time. But I, I did melt it like as an evening melt, which <laughs> just didn't, it didn't work the best. Okay. And then I also finished Yondu, which, ooh, can you even read that? No, you won't be able to. This is avocado and sea salt raspberry and nectarine ambrosia. So... I don't identify the avocado and sea salt. Like, I can't pick that out. I know that scent. I do really enjoy it. Um, that's the reason why I bought this was because of that scent. But it's blended with the other, like the raspberry and the nectarine, very well. This is a nice, like, fresh and fruity scent. I do like it. I think I would repurchase it. Um... Obviously, I have more of that. I would repurchase that. I don't think I would repurchase Toodles, but I would buy it for my sister or my mom because I think they would like it. And I would repurchase and I would repurchase. And this I would repurchase, but not soon. This isn't like a favorite, but I do like it. I, I think it's a decent scent and it has a good throw. So it's like successful in my eyes and it's a nice, you know, like a nice pleasant fruity scent. I just have a ton of fruity scents that I need to get through. And then I finished Minerva, which is Pink Sugar Laundry. If you see these swipes, that is because I bought them from Wax Wednesday. And so they are marked that they were discounted clamshells from that sale around Thanksgiving. This I love. I love, I love, I love. I gave my sister a band bag of this. I bought two and I kept one and I gave her one part of a birthday gift. And I just, she has all these neighbors in like the cul-de-sac where they moved. Um, and they are all like, they think of her as like the... The girl that has like this really good smelling house because she <laughs> I give her a lot of wax melts and stuff and she buys wax too and you know that type of thing. I really hope that she isn't like giving them samples of this like oh try this one my sister really likes this one you know like you know whatever because I want to be like no give them the cheap stuff don't give them the goods. But really it's up to her what she does with it you know I just hope I hope she doesn't. So I think that's it. Uh, that scent, by the way, is very strong. The pink sugar and the laundry blend perfectly. I do really like that laundry scent. I think that that blends so well, it makes its own scent. Um, and I think that you can blend other things with it. I think the possibilities are pretty endless with that Minerva scent. Um, just really nice. It's not super pink sugary. Um, it's like a soft, feminine. It reminds me of like 
a pretty girl's laundry detergent or something. You know, I shouldn't say pretty girl, but like, you know, a feminine, well taken care of girl and her laundry detergent. Okay. So yeah, that's the, that's it for like the empties. And now I will just talk about other random things that I melted and I should probably rearrange some things. Okay. I just have, um, some bags and stuff and it's going to be a little difficult. I'm going to have to stack them on this side. Otherwise I won't be able to reach the bags over there. Okay. So clamshells that I didn't completely finish are Outlander. This is green tweed. This one's really hard to read. Green tweed, blue lagoon water, fresh ozone, greens, and peppermint. I really like this scent. But after a while, I, I like it in the first like two or three hours. And it lasts a really long time. I mean, it really does. It's it's super strong right away and throws very far. And then it will like tone down to just the room that it's in after maybe like four hours or six hours or something like that. I should say even longer than that because I melted it two days in a row in my bathroom and I actually dumped it out before it was done scenting anything. It probably could have been in the bathroom and been a good bathroom melt for like another, honestly, like another day um, or like another eight hours. I don't melt 24 seven in the bathroom. I'm only well melt when I'm like home and awake. Uh, but I did end up dumping it out because it changes as like one oil starts to wear off. There's like an undertone that I'm not a huge fan of, and I think it's like the same as the um, One Tree Hill scent. It's almost the same as that. It's almost like a spicy or peppery or uh, I don't know what it is. There's something in it. I Maybe it's the green tweed, blue lagoon water. I can't imagine it's that. I can't imagine it's fresh ozone. Maybe it's the fresh ozone greens. I don't know if it's fresh ozone, comma, greens, or if it's fresh ozone greens. I'm not sure. I don't really smell peppermint in this, but man, it smells so good in the clamshell. Like a green, fresh, aquatic, uh, ozonic, just almost sweet. There's like a sweetness to it type scent. I just, I really like it in the beginning but again when it starts to tone down and it's too bad because like the wax could go and go and go and go but I just want to use it up or uh, use it up dump it out because I don't enjoy that like uh like dry down scent or however you would say that if that makes sense um but yeah it, it is really good it lasts a long time if you if that sounds like a scent that you would like I do recommend that one um I think that you would get a good performance out of it and then I've got Go to Sleep, which I'm trying to get through some of these clamshells as well. This is Pink Sugar and Lavender Cream. It's a good nighttime melt. And I need to probably add some more of that to my centerpiece warmer. I have that going overnight. Nice, soothing, relaxing. And then we've got Sea Salt Orchid from Epic Wax. And this says, this smooth and elegant spa-like fragrance starts with crisp notes of Sea salt followed by calming notes of jasmine, sweet cream, and must. I do really like this. I bought this, and then I got, I think I got sea salt, orchid, and amber or something. I got like a mini loaf of a scent that's like this mixed with something else. But I really like the way this one smells. I think it had a good throw. It lasted a decent amount of time. Um, I did write on the back here, the strength was a 3 out of 5, and the appeal was a 4 out of 5. So I did really enjoy it. Um, it was like one of those big puzzle pieces. This was like half of it. So I did melt half. And then I thought, you know what? It was strong enough that I'm going to melt this little piece maybe in my bathroom and this one in my bedroom. Kind of let, or like side by side so that I can just kind of like scent that whole area. And I, I wanted to hang on to it because I want to remember what it smells like because I would like to get more of this. I do think it smells really good and um, it's a repurchase for me. It's like a feminine, but not not super feminine, but definitely, eh, yeah, it's feminine. A feminine, soft floral, musk scent, but it's like just super relaxing. It's a super relaxing scent. And that the sea salt part of it, I don't know. I, I don't even know how to explain that. 
but it does give you this almost like sea salt orchid, almost like a tropical feminine floral clean relaxing scent. It's just really pretty, I guess, is the best way to describe it. Okay, I had to get a drink of water and I need to go a lot faster. So when I was talking about olive from Rose Girls earlier, um, what I wanted to say is that it kind of reminded me of this, which is Red Pear from Destination Wax. This is pretty light to me. I, I originally, when I got this, I was like, oh my gosh, this smells so good. But it's really disappointing because it's not very strong. At least it hasn't been for me. This is Juicy Ripe Red Pear, Richer Than Bartlett Pear, and Yellow Pear. I, I think I like the Yellow Pear better, personally. I think I finished up a bag of this last month, and then I tried one cube um, of this to compare. Did I even talk about, did I already talk about this? Because maybe I hadn't talked about it yet. I melted it at the beginning of the month, but then I filmed my empties video from April after I melted this, but this was technically in May, so I didn't talk about it. That's what happened. Okay, just I'm mentally thinking in my head. <clears throat> I know like I mentioned in that last video how I had another like bag or sample of this and it was older. It was from 2017 and it was super light and then I melted a cube of this and it was much stronger and this is from summer 2018. Um, but still so light. But man, this is so authentic to a pear scent. It's almost like a pear that's on the verge of being too ripe. I'm going to stick this down here, actually. Right there. That's not a repurchase for me. At least not right now, I don't think. Because I need to melt yellow pear, which I think is in my basket to melt, um, and decide which of those two I like better. Okay. Let me talk about <clears throat> some things really fast. This will be easy. Uh, Rosalie from Twilight, uh, Twilight's from Super Tarts. This is Twisted Peppermint and Coconut Cream Pie. I really enjoy this scent. I've got this band bag and another full one. I don't know if I have any clamshells of this because I do have the band bags. Um, this is a, this is like a sweet, creamy coconut and peppermint scent. It is really good. It reminds me of my scent from Rose Girls that I love so much. What is that? Peppermint Coconut Marshmallow or Peppermint Coconut Mallow. They are very similar. So if you like that one, you'd like this one. If you like this one, you'd like that one. Um, you know, if you're looking to branch out or you can't find one or the other, you would probably like the other one. Uh, it has a good throw. And um, I think, to be honest, that pepper, Peppermint Coconut Marshmallow from Rose Girls is stronger than this, in my opinion, but I still really like it. So there is that. Also from Rose, oh, Rose Girls, now we're talking about Rose Girls. Also from Super Tarts, I melted some of this Christmas cookie butter because I wanted to try it and see if I needed to order it in a super pan. I like it, but it's not super long lasting. It is a delicious cookie scent. Like, it's the ultimate cookie scent. It smells really, really good, but it didn't last long for me. I mean, it died off in like three or four hours I think if I can remember correctly um I'm not gonna like hoard this I'll use it to blend bakery scents and enjoy it uh, but not have super high expectations of it but I definitely didn't need it in a pan because it just yeah it didn't last for me and that's super weird for super tarts um but I don't know if it's just like I know she put like a bunch of cookie oils together or like bakery oils together to create the ultimate scent and I think and I could be very wrong because I'm not a wax vendor. I don't know how it goes, but I would think that like the more scents you put in it, the more very variables there are. And like some oils don't last as long as other oils. And so there's just, I don't know, that risk of like something dying out or just not being super compatible with each other, if that makes sense. Have you ever melted, like tried to blend two scents together and they're different vendors and so they have a different wax formula and they almost like cancel each other out and don't even blend well don't even melt well at all together that's kind of what I'm getting at with like the possibility of like maybe that's why they die off faster I don't know I'm just like grasping at straws here <clears throat> so that's it for that and then I have um, sweet tea from Rose Girls this was very strong very very strong um, I don't know if I like this on its own. 
it is from July of 2017 and it is still going strong. Very, yeah, very, very strong. Um, <clears throat> I want to melt that with like fruity scents and make like fruity sweet tea. I would love to have like a strong blackberry. Um, I think I do have mini melters and blackberries, so maybe I'll try and do like blackberry sweet tea and some other fruit, strawberry and different things like that and um, see what I can do with that because I, I like it, but I don't want to hang on to it. I think I have a sweet tea scent from Super Tarts too that I need to use up as well. And then this I do want to use up also, and this is Singing in the Rain from Rose Girls. I don't really care for this scent. It's very strong, and it's also from July 2017. I have a feeling my video is going to cut off, so <clears throat> I'm just going to stop it and start it again. You probably won't notice because I'll just mesh them together. <clears throat> okay, so this is like part two, but really hopefully connected well to the first part. So Singing in the Rain, it's kind of like a fresh, rainy, aquatic, ozonic type scent, but there's something a little bit perfumey to me about it. Um, it has a sharpness, and I don't know what that would be, like what, um, what note that would be. <clears throat> it almost makes me like get choked up, but it's really strong. It lasts a really long time. I'm just not a huge fan of it, so I do want to use it up. If you have any suggestions of things I could melt with this, let me know because there's quite a few pieces and they're honestly, they're pretty strong. What is that? Seven pieces left. I want to use it up or give it to my sister if I think that she would like that. I'm getting like choked up from smelling too many things. I'm just going to stack those because I need the room. Let's just leave that there. <clears throat> okay. So I have... No Woman No Cry from Vintage Chic Scents. Uh, EB, you got your mousey? My cat just shoved his mouse under the door. He likes to play this game. I usually kick it back to him, uh, but I can't do that right now. No Woman No Cry. I know there's Camu Camu in this, and that is what lured me into buying this. It smells really good. It's a nice fruity scent. It has a good throw, too. It's not super strong, but it's, like, appropriate. I think this would be a really nice scent to have, like, in the background if you're going to have people over in the summer. I think it's, like, a nice fruity tropical scent. Um, but it's a lot of wax to have, so I don't know. I mean, I guess not. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's only, only 10 melts left because this is, like, too deep how I chopped it. So there's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 uh, pieces. But I thought, you know more than a half a loaf. Maybe I'll try and de-stash that. So I'm probably going to de-stash it um, just because I like it, but I don't love it. And that's a lot of wax for me to keep of something I don't love. So although it's older, vintage cheek sense, some people really like the older stuff that's cured well. It does have a good throw. Um, so I'm, I'm tempted. I am almost tempted to keep like one piece and then de-stash the rest just so I can have like one more piece of it. So that, and then uh, along those lines, this is the Winged Mermaid from Vintage, Vintage Chic Scents 2, and this is kind of like a fresh, clean, aquatic scent, and I've had more of this, and I did like it. This is a Blossom Bar Bag. I only melted, you can see I cut that in four, and there's three, like, of those stacked, so there's one down here, one here, and one here, and I chopped it into four and just melted one piece. It was enough. I melted in my bathroom. I had a decent throw. Um, there was nothing wrong with it. It's just not a favorite. And so as I'm going through my like spring fresh scents, I'm trying to like get rid of things that um, I, you know, am not in love with, <clears throat> create more room for me to eventually try and like incorporate some of my chopped up Bath and Body Works candles into my regular wax storage. Um, so that it's not in like separate storage and uh, this is probably going to go. So I'm probably going to de-stash both of these things right here. And I know, I know people really like this scent. So, um, you know, I feel like I've stored it well. I've taken, I've taken care of both of them. They'll probably go, but there's that. And they don't really fit into the frame. <clears throat> there's only a couple things left. Oh, I forgot. I melted this super tart sample. It was a yellow sample. It 
I don't have no idea what it was. So we're not really going to talk about it. Um, it was all yellow and I think it was called if it were so it might be or something like that. It was like kind of like a fruity tropical type scent. Um, it was okay. I liked it. I didn't love it and I wouldn't purchase it again because I don't even really know what it, what it was. So yes. And then, uh, Sassy Girl Roma, Red Delicious Pear, Rainforest Sugar Cane, Serene Waters. So this is hard to see, but this is a chopped loaf. And this is a custom loaf that I did. Um, <clears throat> I put a cube in my bathroom and let it sit for like 20 minutes and I couldn't really smell it. It wasn't fully melted though. So I put another chunk in thinking like, oh, this is older and it's light. Well, those two chunks together were like too much. It was really strong. Um, I smell the Red Delicious. Uh, the pear and the Red Delicious are, they blend well together where it's, they're kind of interchangeable. And I do get a little bit of that Rainforest Sugar Cane, but mostly that Serene Waters with that like Red Delicious pear type scent. Nice, fruity, fresh scent. I do like it. Um, obviously, I made this custom loaf. I was debating whether I should try and de-stash this if I didn't like it, but I do like it. And um, I think my sister would actually really like it. So I thought about... Um, like banging some up for her and then I did chop my villainous wax loaf that I want it's I'll make a man out of you um this was like part of where it was taped it was a really cool loaf but I chopped it up and melted a piece of it I melted it in my kitchen and it wasn't the strongest scent it did scent up the kitchen but it wasn't like a super strong scent so I want to let it cure longer I might melt it one more time this like spring or summer I guess technically it's June now, so it's summertime. I'll melt it <clears throat> maybe like one more time in a couple places in, in the house and uh, and then just let it cure and sit for a while. I do really like it. It, it smells really good. It's a really nice kind of like feminine, pretty, clean scent. Um, I do enjoy it, but I just, <clears throat> I don't want, I want to go to summer fruity scents instead of like fresh ones. And the last ones I have to show you are Glitterati, and these I'm actually going to just probably de-stash the rest of them with, like, other Glitterati that I'm de-stashing, which sounds dumb because uh, they're only partial pieces, but I don't want to hang on to them, so it's either, like, I send them as freebies or I, like, I don't know how many, like, half chunks I'm going to have, so if it makes sense to, like, de-stash them and sell, cause you sell them by weight or whatever, then I will do that. I don't know what I'm going to do so far. But this is French Vanilla Tea and Cakes. I actually did, I've melted in this in the past and I thought I liked it, but this time around I, I didn't really care for it. It was just okay to me. Um, and it wasn't super strong. <clears throat> and then this one was actually stronger and it, it actually like kind of gave me a headache. This was a creamy strawberry and lemon. It's definitely a creamy strawberry lemon blend. There's something about it. I just didn't like the strawberry and the lemon together. And I know that this is a popular one. I think just Jenny really likes this scent. Um, I just, so this is about a half a chunk left and that's about like three fourths of a chunk left. Cause I think I sliced about a quarter of it off of there. So, um, not, not a fan of either one of these. So those are going to go, <clears throat> but that's it. That's everything that I have, um, to show you. I know it's like a jumbled mess. It's super messy here and you can't really see it all. But thanks so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down below and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.